Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video we are going to discuss how we can get connected to a Windows EC2 instance without using our local laptops remote desktop connection. See if you are using Windows um, uh, home editions by defaultly it's not going to allow you to access the remote desktop tool even uh, i even seen some comments in my previous youtube videos where they are using home edition they are not able to get connected to windows instance so in that scenario how we can get connected to a windows ec2 instance by using aws own tools that too by using ui okay for that quickly i'm going to launch an ec2 instance but before that we have to create a role so the reason why we need to create a role is see we are going to use a option called fleet manager that is available under systems manager so just search for systems manager in the systems manager we have an option called fleet manager we can use this fleet manager to get connected to our windows instance by using ui graphical user interface okay but how the systems manager is going to communicate with our ec2 instance so by using a iam role so first let's go and create an iam role while launching your ec2 instance attach that iam role so that we can get connect and also there is another um, you know uh, security thing also involved in this see generally if you want to get connected to any of the ec2 instance Generally, what we need to do, we have to open uh, port number 3389, right? But if you are using this specific method, you no need to open any port in your security group, okay? So, let's uh, quickly create one security group. Security group, create one. And I'm going to call this as a fleet test SG, giving same as a description selected the vpc i'm not opening any port in inbound role create security group so then go to iam role navigate to roles create a role i'm going to use this role with my ec2 instance just go here search for ec2 select it then click on next and here search for ssm you can see lot of roles but one is actually dedicated for this instance and such type of operations you see this amazon ssm managed instance core so if you observe some things like you know ssm related ones ssm message and ec2 message related ones are allowed so we are good with this specific uh, policy let's select this then click on next give a name um, SSM iPhone fleet iPhone YT is the name I am giving. Then click on create a role. So the prerequisite kind of things uh, is ready. Now it's time to launch an EC2 instance. Go to instances, launch instance, and um, Windows fleet test. Selecting Windows and selecting Windows Server 2022 base. Instant types, I want to be under free tire limitation. I selected free tire. I'm selecting a key pair. Okay, this key pair definitely required, even if you are using this uh, uh, fleet manager option also. Okay, so now I'm going to choose the security group we created. So fleet test SD, I am selecting. But important thing is, I have not opened anything in the security group uh, inbound rules. So 30 GB is fine. Expand advanced details and select the role we created so we created this uh, ssm fleet yt right select that so then launch instance so this instance creation is going to take a minute or two so now we can simply select this instance once it is up and running we can connect and we can use that or you can simply go to the systems manager service AWS systems manager 
go to fleet manager and here when you click on get started right it should show you the node so node is nothing but an ec2 instance here okay so all we need to do is um, wait for a minute or two uh, till this instance up and running okay my instance is in running state now so but uh, it like you know may not allow us to connect it to this instance immediately let's verify so let's select this click on connect go to rdp client and um, for some time this may be in disabled state if you wait for like you know around three to four minutes this is going to highlight it so you can select this option connect using fleet manager so then you can click on this fleet manager remote desktop so automatically it will take us to that screen so this is from directly ec2 option otherwise you can go to this manage nodes so now sometime back we don't have this node but now so the ec2 instance uh, is showing here so if you want to get connected to it select this go to node actions connect and start terminal session it is going to give only um, command line option so if you observe here it's trying to connect so but problem is it is going to give only command line so but uh, the primary purpose right so we want to connect to this instance by using uh, graphical user interface so for that what we can do okay we can terminate this existing session it's ready it's ready we can start working on this so like you know uh, my purpose of this video is connect using ui so just navigate there click on connect connect with remote desktop okay so now it's asking are you going to provide the credentials manually here or you want to use your key pair to browse so if you want to use your key pair you can simply select key pair so the default username is administrator this is a brand new machine so you can paste the key pair content or you can browse from our local laptop so the key pair i attached to this ec2 instance is um, 730 aws so we have to browse that so all my key pairs are under key pairs folder here 730 i'm browsing the appropriate key pair then click on connect so that's it it's establishing the remote desktop connection so we are nowhere using our uh, local laptops remote desktop connection right or microsoft remote desktop option we are using aws fleet manager remote desktop to get connected we can take four nodes we can connect to a maximum of four nodes in this specific view okay if you want to connect to another one you can add a new session so then you can choose the another instance and you can add that here as well if you want to go to full screen mode you can simply click on this so automatically it will take us to full screen mode as well so we are connecting for the first time right so that is the reason it is doing some basic uh, configuration part okay if you observe the desktop is ready we can work on this uh, machine now whatever we want to perform we can perform that now even if you want to change the resolution you go to actions resolution we do have an option to change the resolutions as well so based on the setting it is going to right uh, so configure so these all uh, like you know just our um, settings based on our comfort we can modify all the settings so i personally always use this um, uh, 1366 to 768 and the secured option right i mentioned it as a secured option so the reason here in security group we have not opened any port any inbound rule to uh, get connected to this ec2 instance at security group level all right uh, again if you want to terminate the session you can go here actions you can end the session so the session is going to end so technically we got disconnected from this uh, windows ec2 instance all right so that is what exactly fleet manager and how we can get connected to a windows machine uh, by using fleet manager whenever you are using any 
home edition in your base laptop if you want to get connected to windows machine by using user interface so this is the best option for us that's it for this video see you again in next video don't forget to subscribe thank you guys